Yo, what's up guys? Logan here. Welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can do the out-of-map glitch and the zero-gravity glitch in Psycho Poochin. Now you see, recently I made a video about this on how I got onto the map, then a YouTube Shorts video where I told you guys how to do the zero-gravity glitch. But there's people asking me, how did I get out of the map? And people were asking, can you put a more in-depth way to do the zero-gravity glitch? So I decided I'm going to make this video to show you guys how you can do both of them. And they actually really work good simultaneously, so... Yeah, let's get into the video. Now before you can do this glitch, you want to go to settings, then go to option 2. This will set you to snap turn, and I'll get why that's important later. Now to understand this glitch more, we need to figure out what teleporting is. Now, this is a diagram of your boundary, 6 to 7 feet long. It doesn't really matter the width. Anyways, what you need to do is you need to get past this barrier that turns off your zero gravity, and we'll be using this feature inside the out-of-map glitch as well. Then, what we want to do is we want to go to one side of our boundary. Then we need to hold our Oculus button. Now what this will do is it'll send us to the other side of our boundary. If this doesn't work, then just go to the other side and hold your Oculus button. But you see, we want to figure out where we're going to teleport. So we can use our snap turn to move the boundary inside of the game, but still keep it there in the real world, if that makes sense. So you can therefore figure out where you teleport in game. So, we're going to be using that same principle here. I just step back to the back of my boundary. Then, I use the snap turn in order to face the other side of my boundary right there. Now, if we go into the zero gravity, and then stand right here so it doesn't get taken away, if we hold the Oculus button, then it should work. But if it doesn't, like it did for me, you need to go to the other side of your boundary and try it again. Now this glitch can be a little bit finicky, so if it doesn't work on your second try, then you just gotta do it again and again until it works. We hold the Oculus button, and boom. Anyways, after this, you can just go ahead and go to the shop where we can do the out of map glitch. Okay, so as we go into the shop, I'm gonna tell you what we're trying to get past. There's two rendering zones, right here and right here. Anyways, we need to teleport past them, the same teleport we used to get past the renderer inside of the zero gravity zone. And then we should be able to get out of bounds as the shop isn't rendered in. So, the key way to figure this out is by the music playing inside the forest. If you still hear it, that means you still have that rendered in and you haven't rendered in the shop. You can also tell by there being no lights right there. Now it should be facing here and it should line up with that corner. And a telltale sign that you're here is these two pebbles, then go over diagonally to these two pebbles, stand behind this one, make sure you're on the ground completely, then pull the trigger. If you still hear the music, that means you're ready to go on to the second step. Now to make this quicker, all you have to do is just make it so you're flat on the ground facing that way with your boundary, then you're just going to want to walk over here. The wall will make it so we don't move anywhere to where it will screw up the glitch, and we'll just make it smack faster so you don't have to maneuver yourself. Next up is the thinniest. Next up is the most finicky part of the glitch. What you want to do is you're going to want to face that way and make sure you're somewhere along this line, because from there to there, it'll render in the shop like that. Okay, third time's the charm. Okay, we're gonna be going right here, again facing that way, and make sure we're not flying. Doing this with zero gravity is a lot harder, but it's a lot more rewarding. Anyways, um, hold the Oculus button. Yes! Okay, there we go. Now we're out of the map. Now you see, as long as you do subtle movements, you can stay out of the map. Because sometimes you'll get trapped inside the mod events, and or it'll get stuck in there. But first, I want to show you some things that I think will help you on your way to, well, playing around out of the map. First, what you're going to want to do is go underneath this rendering zone. That will render in the shop, therefore allowing you to get into the shop window, which will allow for you to do a little bit of trolling. Just swoop up and above from that grass right there, and you should make it in here, as you can easily go through this, and other people can see you through the window. There's me. So, you can tell people to come over to the window, they can just fly up, and they're going to question their existence. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is go over to the mines. We want to be able to get to this zone that's around this light, which therefore renders in the entire horror mode. Now we can do this to see level 3, we can see all around, and there's a little box right there which I'm not going to show you. I think maybe you should watch my video on how the eye cards at the top right of the screen. I am a greedy bastard. Now the next thing is the mod vents. Since they're all around the map and you're probably stupid enough to get stuck in them, I'm going to show you a way out. 
So first, you're gonna wanna go into the mod lounge. There's really nothing here, and it's just kinda like empty space, cause all the cool stuff is only like for the mods to see. But what you can do is, well, explore the mod vents, which clearly have nothing inside of them. But if you follow this route that I'm taking right now, then you will eventually, and trust me, I say eventually, these things are pretty long, you will eventually get to Sandland. And that is where we can escape the mod vents. Okay, there should be around two to three elevators up, and we just passed the first one. Like an elevator. And third elevator. Now we're at the Sandland vent, but you may be asking, how the hell do we get out? Well, it actually has to do with this funky little thing you see here that we actually probably saw on the way up. What you need to do is you need to grab yourself right here, and a little bit finicky, you want to move your hand through there, your other hand to push yourself through. Again, very finicky as with most of these glitches, but you can do it. Okay, now we're almost out. What we want to do is you want to use this hand to push that hand out. Now we should go flying, but don't worry, you'll get caught by this water because you can't really enter your sand land. Also, fun fact, as long as you have caves rendered, you can just go into the stump just fine. So you could look at somebody and say, hey, look at me, and they can just go under the floor and they're gonna, well, question their existence. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Yeah, bro, like and subscribe, or beat don't break your kneecaps.